My name is Brooke Sulahian, and I have the honor of leading Hope for Our Sisters as president and co-founder. The mission of our nonprofit is to raise awareness of and support for women and girls with fistula and at risk of fistula as we await God's renewal of hope in their hearts through treatment, prevention, and the ultimate eradication of fistula. The reason we do this work is because we believe that all women and girls should be cherished and treasured by their communities and families and enabled to live the lives originally designed for them. Fistula is a hole. It's a hole from the inside to the outside and it can occur in any part of your body. The type of fistula we focus on would be obstetric and traumatic. Obstetric fistula is incontinence resulting from obstructed labor without access to medical care, such as a C-section. Traumatic fistula is incontinence, resulting from aggressive assault, which tears the bladder and rectal wall. These women and girls leak urine and or feces constantly. And as a result of this odor, they are often ostracized and isolated. Their husbands most often leave, their families will keep them out of the house, and their communities don't want them around. And on top of that, 90% of the time, the child will die. Estratégia do filho que vive 2009 quando aconteceu isso. Cheguei 2010. O marido também nunca me visitou, me deixou. Ainda não tem, ainda não entrei no bloco. Para isso eu cheguei lá, estou esperando um mês. Esse mês é que vou entrar no bloco. A família ficar lá, não vira, só vira sozinho. We partner with doctors and hospitals in Angola, the Congo, and Nepal. We picked these three locations so we could fully invest and see our impact and work towards full cycle care at each location, which would be treatment, prevention, and restoration. Because these women also need to not only be healed, but they need to find their way back into community. Most of them are used to being shoved to the back of the line. Most of them are used to, don't want you in my consultation room because you stink it up. Most of them are, are, are elbowed out of the way by nursing staff because they make they make uh, nice white cloths get dirty and all that kind of thing and so to try to build an ambiance that says to the lady you are special and in god's sight god's sight you are more than special you're special design in that sense if we were to start anywhere i'd say let's make sure we get ladies into girls into school Six years of school knocks mortality for six. It halves children's death rates. It does wonderful things to moms who can read and pick up a piece of information. To prevent uh, the fistulas themselves, the first and foremost, we need to raise awareness. And we need, need to raise awareness within the culture. The people who are telling them, uh, these young girls or young women who are pregnant or who will be pregnant, the people who are telling them must be trusted and they must have some sort of relationship with them um, so that the message will be believed. And then more primary care providers as well, so that um, the primary care providers or especially the providers of maternal care, uh, if they can become more educated and more aware so that early in labor or when they see potential complications, they can move them to the appropriate facility for a cesarean section or um, uh, just more close monitoring. Today, a little girl in Africa and Nepal faces long days and years of toil, stunted growth from lack of nutritious food, no chance for an education, early marriage to an older man, a lost childhood, pressure to have many children, 
high risk of fistula and or death in childbirth, a life lived without being cherished, valued, or loved, a life lived as a disposable commodity. What can we do? How can we help? Together, we can build a bridge, a bridge for a better tomorrow. Tomorrow, a little girl in Africa and Nepal experiences work alongside her family and brothers, a chance to attend school, nutritious food on her plate, laughter, play, dreams of her future, a childhood, later marriage, greater health without the high risk of fistula and or death in childbirth, feeling loved, valued, and cherished by her family and community, a life of choices and options, a life of potential, beauty, and meaning. Together, we can generate hope by building a bridge of hope to our sisters in Angola, the Congo, and Nepal. A bridge toward a better and brighter tomorrow. A better tomorrow without fistula. A better tomorrow full of hope. Thank you.